now at 6. We here at CBS4 are committed to bringing you stories about why mentoring matters. And this morning, we introduce you to a young woman who was going down a dangerous road until someone who cared stepped in and steered her back in the right direction. CBS4's Mike Cunha with the story. When I run, I run. Yeah. And when I get in here, I stand in my corner, I jump up and down like three times. And, and it's I'm, all gone. I'm gone. I'm good. Yeah. I feel safe. For Chastity Martin, safety came at a premium growing up. Her father disowned her and she was punching her way through the neighborhood, fighting just about anyone. You will fight one someone's family member and then just know they have 15 other cousins and friends. But one brawl landed this brash fighter in the back of a police car. So she thought if she had time to get in trouble, she had time to be productive. <laughs> Chastity picked up boxing to channel her energy. But waiting for her in the gym was more temptation. One day, a man offered her the opportunity to fight in a strip club for money. She took it. Chastity was just 14 years old. It was just craziness. It was it was women up there on the roof. It was women down here just walking around with no clothes on. This loud music. It's late at night. And I'm like, wow, like where am I? What am I doing? Luckily, this turned out to be a one-time deal. One of the trainers in her gym caught wind of this and stepped in. The biggest problem I have with that is not so much that you're fighting, but it's where you're fighting because of the environment. I mean, here's a situation where a young girl like you can end up in uh, uh, doing drugs, uh, alcohol, uh, prostitution. One, two, and roll. <laughs> Stacy McKinley is known through boxing circles as one of Mike Tyson's former trainers. And for the first time, hey, hey. he was going to coach a girl. You can't get in a fantasy world that the rules are going to change in the ring for you because you're a female. The rules are the same. You know, we're in the, what we call in the professional boxing, we call the hurt business. <laughs> Under McKinley's tutelage, the hurt business has been good for Chastity. At 20 years old, she's already 4 0 as a professional boxer. Chastity! But more importantly, Chastity has gained a father figure in her life since that first meeting six years ago. The two are inseparable. Stacy has not only shown her the ins and outs of boxing, he's taken up financial responsibilities, paying for her education and insurance, keeping her life on track. As long as you, you're training and you're trying to move up in life and you're trying to make something out of yourself, I'm going to go as far as with you as I can. I call it the yellow brick road. I said, you want to see the wizard? I say, we go get on the yellow brick road. If you stay on the yellow brick road, I'll get you there. It's a long road, and it goes like this. It goes down, it goes up, it goes everywhere. But, you know, um, on the yellow brick road, what you can't do is if you fall off, you can't stay off. On that road is an education and a career outside the ring. I will be in the uh, police academy, nice. the Bro Broward Sheriff uh, Office Police Academy. So right now I'm studying, studying is going well, and I'll be a law enforcement officer in the month of November of 2017. Stacy knows he won't be around forever, but he wanted to make sure above all else that he teaches chastity independence and responsibility. Your success is going to determine on what you do and the people, how the people perceive you. And how, you, and how you carry yourself. Your success is, going, is right here in Pompano Beach in Broward County. I said, you're going to reach out further than that, but you have to start at home. In the ring, Chastity has been appropriately nicknamed the Queen of Pompano, and she hopes to be fighting for a world title in the next 12 months. Mike Cuneo, CBS4 This Morning. Wow, wow, wow. And now she's going into a life of service. Mm -hmm. What a way to pay it forward, huh? For information on how you can become a mentor, head on over to our website, cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. You'll find a full list of organizations that you can get involved with. Also, tell us about mentors in your life. Email us at mentoringmatters at cbs.com. Amazing story.